back with another kiln opening. I put the camera higher today so that you can see my whole face. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take out the Taylor Swift item because that will have to go in a separate video. So I will do that for editing purposes. Putting that one first. <clears throat> I can already tell you it did not turn out like it was supposed to. <laughs> so I have this um, stoned denim um, in the dipping version. Uh, it has worked well in the past and I think I should have taken some water out of it. Somehow it was too watery. I, don't, uh, I need some advice on what to do with dipping glazes that have sat for a while. Like, what do you add to them to make them usable again? I don't know. It, it's weird that it had more water than when I, I don't know. Anywho, um, I, I'm going to talk about this a little bit. I, um used a satin matte glazes on all of the decorations on here and some a couple under glazes um and then I waxed over those and then I dipped it in the stone denim and the reason I dipped it is because I did not want to sit there and hand paint in between all these things that I added to the cup they would have taken way too long but I kind of wish looking back now wish that I had just taken the time to do that because I would have gotten the color I wanted. Anyway, so Taylor Swift mug number one. I'm gonna have to figure out what I wanna do because I did not want it brown. It's supposed to be blue, stone denim. There's tiny bits of it right there that are what they're supposed to be. And on the handle, even if it was like this handle color, which is, it is blue in person, looks kind of dark on there, but. <sighs> okay, moving on. <clears throat> um, I had, a lot of fun designing this. I should have brought my iPad. Um, I'll add an image that I, I sketched out every single mug from her Eras tour on um, my tablet, and then I brought them to life through clay. <laughs> so, or try, did my best to. Um, so everything on this is either supposed to. It, I drew inspiration from like her album covers, from her songs. Uh, from her music videos and I was very careful to not use anything that she has trademarked which she has trademarked literally everything so it's really just Taylor Swift inspired or vibes um so things that she I can't get in trouble for basically um so I've got all the flowers um her first album has a lot of florals and swirls and butterflies and all that. Um, I made a little uh, Polaroid picture here um, with a little telephone and it's like got stars and a moon out there. And this is in my Taylor era, which I don't think I can get in trouble for that. I really hope not. I can always cover it with something if, if it's an issue. Um, but yeah, satin matte glazes on all these little add-ons. The butterflies and this look how 3d that one is <laughs> that's so cool oh i love this orange one on the handle oh gorgeous and then uh yeah the blue one man i wish okay i'm always gonna complain about my lighting i just need to quit accept it but that is just so pretty the ugly brown background though ruined it <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should try to add more glaze and put it back in. These aren't gonna run, so I think they'll be fine. I just, uh, you know, things, it's refires are risky. But yeah, those are pretty. And these swirls, if it was stone denim like it's supposed to be, these would be highlighted brown and then the cup would be blue. So they would have stood out better. And then if you see here, it's got um, little teardrops from teardrops on my guitar. Um, what else? Oh, I guess that's it on that one. And then I did green on the inside. Her album has like blues and greens and stuff. Seaweed times three. Oh, that looks good, seaweed. Mm -hmm. Pretty. So we gotta figure out what to do with that. Gosh, I just, I love everything on it, except for the background. 
<sighs> such as pottery. Oh, also, I did this shape. It's like bubble. Oh, where's the good angle where you can see it? It's got like three bubbles. <laughs> um, and I did that to kind of represent like her hair back in her first album. She had the natural, super curly hair. So that's kind of why I did. And then the little curl on the handle. I was like trying to bring back some of her wavy hair vibes. But, okay, enough about that one. Although, I, I mean, it's really cool. Should I just leave it brown? Is it bad? Or maybe, I don't know, is it bad? Is it just not what I expected? Or is it bad? I don't know. I'm going to, I don't know what to do. Because I'm supposed to go back with silver on all the teardrops so that they stand out. And maybe that'll make it better. Like cover it. I don't know. Maybe I should just leave it. I mean, it's got the green. It's got the, yeah, I don't know. I'll get some advice. Mm -hmm. Okay, very cute. That's going to be so fun. Mm -hmm. um, and then my plan with those is to get all of them made um, and then I'm going to auction them off as a set and depending on how well I'm able to advertise that I hope that goes well um, so all the work that I'm doing right now and planning for the fair of the heart but um, I'm actually planning some classes now too stay tuned for that if you're local um, every, all the proceeds from all this stuff is going to go towards a new bigger kiln and advancer shelves. Um, it's good. It's, that's like six grand. So, um, I don't just have six grand lying around. So I'm trying to do all this stuff, sell all this stuff to raise funds for that. So that, um, in the coming years I can do more, you know, name of the game. Okay. I'm going to move on now. So my biggest bowl that I've thrown is on this top shelf. There were like two things on this top shelf because it's a 17 inch shelf. The bowl itself is huge. And it is also not what I expected, but I don't know if I hate it. I think it's just not what I thought it was gonna be. So, but it's rustic. Somebody might love it. <laughs> Look out, that's a big bowl. Um, so this one, I did two thick coats of nor Northern Woods. So I did inside and out two thick coats of Northern Woods. And then I did two <clears throat> coats of Winter Wood over that. And you can obviously see where I did it too. I, I tried to do like an organic edge there, not just straight around, which I'm glad I did. It would look weird. And then, yeah, same on the inside. And, um... When I fired this time, I fired to a cone six with a 10 minute hold instead of a 15 minute hold because things got a little bit hotter than I was used to last time. And maybe it's just because there was two items on the top shelf. The bottom shelf will be the real indicator, but it did not get quite hot enough for me. It's really just a five. The six is just starting to bend. So yeah, a five on that. And I like to get a five and a half at least just because five and a half helps that's when runs kind of like, like drippy melty things really start happening um so we'll see what the bottom shelf looks like but what do you think about this bowl i don't know how i feel about it it's not what it was supposed to look like i'll attach an image that shows what the swatch was i mean i feel like somebody will like this though it's really rustic it's kind of like an organic feel to it i don't know what y'all think should I refire it at a hotter or just leave it? Again, with the choices, I hate making decisions. All right, that's a big bowl. I wonder how big that is. Do I have a ruler? Not close. Okay, moving on. I just re kiln washed these because in my last video, you saw that I had some drips. And I am loving this Mako kiln wash. Okay. Uh, the rest of this is just more cactus mugs and one more big bowl. Small kiln. <laughs> um, and again, so the, I, I had some pinging yesterday with these winter wood, um, mugs. Um, they, those quit pinging. So I think I am just opening the kiln a little bit hot. Mm, you know, whatever. Uh, so... I used up the last of that one jar and started a new jar. So this is 
the winter wood from the new jar. Not as many specks, which somebody might like less specks. So we'll see. See, this one's not pinging at all. The ones that have a lot of the specks, I think are the ones that are pinging. So it's just the outside of the cup then. The inside is totally fine. I was checking the other ones is why I say that. Those are fine. I'll show you. Like this is from the bottom of the jar, which personally, I think these look cooler. I like the melty stuff. I should get my cone pack out. Yeah, I like this one. Somebody might like the other better though. To each their own. Yeah, so these are the ones that are pinging with all the jazz on the outside. Cute. Again, one from the new jar of winter wood. Still cute. Just not as busy. Somebody will like that. And also not pinging. That answers that question. New jar, winter wood. A little bit thicker on the specs. Cute. <gasps> that one dripped a little. Oh, not much. Just a hair. Thought it was more because of the way it stuck. So I'll just lightly grind that off. Not a big deal at all. Tiny little spot right there. You won't even know that I ground, I ground it when I'm done. These are so cute. I love them. There's a, one of the specks got inside somehow. <laughs> Little character. Um, let's look at this one. See, this one got hotter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this one's closer to what I like. And I think it's because the bottom shelf was so much taller. And the shop top shelf only had two things on it. And it was a shorter shelf. Sort shorter shelf. Okay. This bowl. Okay, this one did turn out like I wanted it to. And it's, we're gonna keep an eye on it though. It's pinging too. We'll see if it's crazy. You know, um, this might just be a decorative bowl, but I, that green tea and rusted iron, no, it wasn't that one. No, it was the Norse blue one that had crazy on the outside. Anywho, uh, this one is, Two coats of cordovan uh, all over. And then uh, two coats of green tea. And you can see where I stopped at on there. I wish, I didn't know if it was gonna drip. So I didn't go all the way down, but I wish I had. I mean, it's cool, kind of cool to see the red. I don't hate it, but I like the effect of when they mix, but if this is crazing, uh, it might just be an exterior glaze combo and then put something else on the interior. We'll see, it's still, it is still actually kind of warm, so that could be it also. We'll just have to see when it's done, <laughs> cooling off. But that's cute, pretty. I love the way that it breaks that brownish color like that. Finally, something turned out like I wanted it to. Love it. Yeah, that's nice. I want to redo this glaze combo, or I want to use it again, but let's make sure that it's safe to do so. Yay. Okay. Well, that was it. Um, I've got... She dirty. Uh... I've got to put my face mugs back in for their luster firing. And I need to decide what to do with that Taylor Swift mug so that I can save it to be reglazed or add the silver and call it a day. Um, decisions, I hate making decisions. Okay, uh, and then after that luster firing, tomorrow I'll probably start a bisque fire. Um, I've got a lot of stuff ready to be bisque fired. And which also means more glazing. So thanks again for watching. Uh, you'll be seeing me again soon. Uh, take care, you guys. Bye.
Hey again. Um, I'm putting these two videos together, so now I'm going to do an intro. Uh, this is the luster firing. Okay, so this is the Taylor Swift one. And I actually called or FaceTimed my mom last night to get her opinion on the glaze. Um, and we decided to leave it the way it is. It's earthy and, you know, I mean, I think I was just disappointed because it wasn't what I had anticipated, but it is not bad. It's kind of, it makes everything else stand out more. So anyway, I added silver to the teardrops um to make those stand out a little bit more and just to add some bling to the cup the um maybe it'll change as it continues to cool down because it's about 100 degrees right now but the seaweed got quite a bit darker so we'll see if that lightens up any still really pretty green it's just not as vibrant as it was the rest of it looks the same very happy with it though. It's cute. Okay. <laughs> they're cute look it looks so different with the actual gold on there <laughs> to bring out the glasses I wonder if I should name them should I name them I don't know what I would call her hmm taking suggestions these will all be in my online restock um tomorrow at 11 a.m. So tonight I'll be taking pictures of everything and getting it ready to upload. Cute. Beauty Mark, not mole, Beauty Mark. <laughs> Love this one. I like the big oval glasses. I don't know why. Maybe. All right. I was excited for this guy. Oh, <laughs> he looks like a grandpa. <laughs> so uh, this is the white gold luster, and the other one was the bright gold luster. I don't buy the premium. I don't. I don't know that you can even tell the difference really. Um. So yeah, I like them. They turned out cute. Very nice. Okay, that's it. Um, if you're interested in buying one of these, check out the site tomorrow at 11 central time. Um, I'll be making some more. I need to break out my red clay. I've been avoiding it just because it's a lot of work to get everything clean to not contaminate anywho. You know what I'm saying. <clears throat> but once I do switch over to red clay, I'm gonna have more of these because I think that'll look really cool. Um, that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again. Bye.